I am joyful. I am blessed. I am a music lover. I am Megan Faremo. 12 is when I remember just really getting into it and sort of finding my own music taste. That's when I started falling in love with music. Me and my dad would always listen to music on the radio on my way up to um, softball practice and that's when he would show me all of the songs that he used to listen to when he was younger. But when I think of my grandpa, I think of singing in the church choir. And if any of my family is watching this, I know I skipped out the last few years to go to softball practice. But that's when I remember hearing the church ladies sing and hearing my auntie playing the piano or, you know, directing the music, whatever it was, and being a little girl sitting in the church pews and just loving. I didn't even really speak fluent Samoan, and that's what they sang in. But I loved the sound and I loved just being present in that. And I remember my parents asked me what I wanted for my birthday, kind of like a sweet 16 thing, if you will. And I asked for a record player. My Etta James record was my very first one. My parents got it for me. But that was the first one that I really, really wanted because I remember hearing Etta James on the radio. See, and again, like that soul vibe, I love that. And hearing that for the first time on my record player was a completely different experience. And I think that's what made me fall in love with collecting records specifically. My music I know is very personal. I get attached to it and it, it's a very vulnerable place for me to sit in and I kind of almost want to protect it. Like if, if I'm showing you my music that I really love, then you got to be somebody that's kind of important to me. I think my music taste is very eclectic. I genuinely feel like I listen to anything and everything and I think it's just an appreciation for someone's art. So my walk-up songs are really important to me and I put so much thought into them. So I remember talking to um, my parents about it before I got to college. Like I was like, okay, yes, I'm coming to UCLA. Now let's think of my walk-up songs. <laughs> but to me, I want my the people in the audience to just be grooving. It's good vibes. We're competing. We're having fun. It's a good day at Easton Stadium. I'm very much the type of person to act based off emotion and so whatever I'm feeling that day if I know I'm super heightened I'm not gonna make myself any more heightened walking into the stadium I'm gonna play maybe put on some reggae I try to um, give little shout outs in my walk-up songs to my dad and just my family in general playing that music reminds me of being home and tailgating and all of that so definitely an ode to my dad I think as athletes we're held to a really high standard and for the most part, we fulfill that standard, but it's more like, man, sometimes I like to just throw a record on, vibe, clean, cook, whatever I gotta do. Like, I'm not always so, and I think you don't really see that part of me when I'm pitching, and especially when I'm doing my foot stomp. <laughs> Music is special in the way that there's something out there for everyone and people can find something to love in the music, whether it's the person that's singing, what they're saying, what the beat is, the rhythm. And I think that's something that's beautiful and it connects all of us. So I think that's what music does for the world. And I think music is just so intricate in that way and interesting to learn about that I, I could talk about it for days.